Oil makes the world function. Without it, our economies would grind to a halt. Until recently, extracting oil from the ground has been relatively easy, but there is less and less easy oil available, and concerns about running out are driving oil prices higher. Actually, there's lots of oil, but most of it isn't easy to extract. It's so thick it doesn't flow easily. It can't be pumped out of the ground using regular methods. This is called heavy oil, and it represents a whopping 40% of the existing oil reserves. Recent enhanced oil recovery techniques have made it possible to thin heavy oil, usually by heating and pressurizing it so it flows more easily. To do this, many wells need to be drilled, wells to inject heat and pressure, wells to balance the pressure across the reservoir as pressure is injected, and wells to pump out the newly thinned oil. Sensors are placed every few yards down each well, measuring everything from temperature, flow rates, and pressure in the well. Without the data from these sensors, the individual oil wells could become unstable and affect production of the entire field. Each minute of interrupted oil flow translates into millions of dollars lost, so it's important to know instantly if something goes wrong. But with thousands of additional wells and sensors, how can any operator possibly monitor everything? Enter the digital oil field powered by a red line network. With a digital oil field powered by a red line network, the hundreds of sensors that monitor and control each oil well can send their data to a central location where it can be monitored in real time. Instructions instead of people can be sent directly to each oil well. This is machine-to-machine -machine communication and it is very efficient. Employees in the field or on ships can communicate live to headquarters and access company business systems. And where there aren't people, video cameras can be the eyes of the company, ensuring that the entire environment is safe and assets are protected. Getting all these machines and people connected and sharing information in real time means better, faster decisions, optimized oil production, reduced costs, and safer operations. But connecting all these machines and people isn't simple. The geography of most oil fields is characterized by huge remote areas, often hundreds of square miles in total, and they aren't always flat. Running wires or fiber optic cable to hundreds or thousands of oil wells is simply not economical. Smart operators are turning to wireless communications from red line communications to deliver virtual fiber. With virtual fiber, instead of running wires, wireless red line devices placed near the wellheads and at headquarters send and receive critical information between the places, people, and machines in the field. Unlike walkie talkies or cell phones, these devices need special capabilities. They must be able to handle extreme climates where most oil fields are located, whether it's a dead cold of North Dakota, the humidity of South America, or the heat of the Middle Eastern desert. They must support all the needs in the field and fit into one network. Some communication, like pressure management at an oil well, is more important than others, like allowing remote employees to check their email. Getting everything to work well on a single network is difficult. They must be secure. Millions of dollars are lost if oil production is interrupted for even a short period of time. Security is a key requirement for any network that controls oil operation. They must be able to handle different types of data without slowing down. Any network that is going to connect thousands of devices, sensors, cameras, and people needs a large capacity. When considering the huge distances the network covers, the challenge gets even bigger. They must work perfectly, all the time. Imagine how long it would take and how much it would cost to send a repairman to an oil field to fix the network. These networks have to work flawlessly all the time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 52 weeks per year. Advanced oil and gas companies turn to red line communications to deliver an end-to-end, -end, all-weather, all-terrain, machine-to-machine wireless network that turns a regular oil field into a wireless digital oil field. Decisions can be made faster and better when the entire field is connected. People, processes, and technology in the field, in the network operations center, in a truck or on a ship. In oil and gas, it's all about speed. Faster decisions translate directly into greater returns. On a single virtual fiber red line system, everyone and everything is connected wirelessly. Sensors and in-field equipment can be monitored and controlled in real time. Video cameras provide visibility into field operations. People anywhere in the field can talk to other people and connect to business systems. Even ships can be connected to network operation centers. 
Redline powers the wireless digital oil field, delivering the communications that oil and gas companies need to extract more oil more efficiently. And this translates directly into a greater return on investment for smart companies like Shell, BP, Chevron, Oxy, Adnoc, Tatweer, Pemex, and more.